So this was a different kind of flight. Today I'm going to show you speed runs in and out really fast at different altitudes, go up really high, do a surveillance of a rotation around, and some auto lands. So you get a sense of what that's all about. This was a really enjoyable flight. I hope you enjoy it. And I talk into the RC2 with my little microphone here so we can get some nice clear dialogue in what I'm doing. I'm flight testing this bird, just like I did back in the day with helicopters, fixed wing, what have you. A little bit at a time to get a sense of what it can do. Also, it's a great training regime for somebody that's new, or maybe you're an experienced quadcopter pilot or ex experienced pilot like myself, and you just want to test this out and ring it out and proceed safely to get the most out of this amazing quadcopter. Here we go, RC2 controller recording on. I'm gonna turn on the camera and we're gonna just do a launch. I always do the auto launch. There we go, and then we're now we're just gonna go straight up. Height. 60 feet. We're going to take it up to 100 feet, I think. We'll bring it down a little bit. Winds aloft are a little higher than they are below, 110 feet. So let's just kind of turn this thing around. Hopefully the geese aren't going to be a problem. They're flying down below. And just kind of see what we got here. At 100 feet. Okay, we'll bring them down to 50 feet. Maybe a little less wind down there. Wow, that's a difference. Bump them up to 50 feet. Plus or minus one foot, maybe. There we go, 50 feet. Now we'll just fly him out and see what we get. Whoa, wrong way. <laughs> Turn him around. And then I'm going to turn the angle down a little bit on the camera and we'll fly it forward and see what we got. Wow, ho, ho, that thing is fast. All right, so we're gonna climb up a little bit, maybe to 75 feet. Oh, maybe 130, 40 feet. We'll rotate around and see the view. As a surveillance camera, this thing is pretty amazing. And maybe you can see me waving, probably not. Let's see if we can focus in a little bit. I know where this guy is. Maybe we'll bring him down to about 50 feet. So we're doing height today, it looks like. 60 feet's good. See if we can focus in a little bit on the camera here. Bring the camera angle up a little bit. Go clockwise and fly them home. Hammer down a little bit. Wow, that's amazing. Wow, this thing is fast. So we're going to go down to 40 feet. Put 
down to 40. Plus or minus a foot, rotate. I always like to know where I'm going. We'll slide over a little bit to get away from some of these trees. Move the camera angle up a little bit. And see how we do here running this corridor. Whoa! As soon as you get off the stick, it stops. So we'll rotate 180 degrees. Notice I'm picking a day when no one's around, and then fly it back. Okay, get the angle down on the camera. So down is counterclockwise. Hi there. Up is clockwise on the camera angle. All right, let's lower it down to 30 feet, 28, 27. Let's go 25. Well, let's go 20. The same corridor at 20 feet. Right there, we're shooting down that corridor. So here we go. And a little angle here. I don't want to run into those trees if I can avoid it. Okay, don't want to run through those trees. So we'll come back. And fly back. So it appears we're just under or at the same altitude as the lights. Wow, that's amazing. So we gained a couple feet altitude. I'd like to do this lower if I can get some cooperation from this car. We'll bring her down to 15 feet and run it again. And correct a little bit. Whoa, don't want to run into the lamp post. Okay, rotate. Come on now. It's me over there. Maybe you can see me waving. Let's see if we can focus in. How far we can focus in. That's about it. Go down to 10 feet. Let's see what this car is doing. Okay. Don't want to hurt anybody. All right, 10 feet's going to be kind of sporty. 15 feet's kind of sporty. Going across. Okay, we'll go up to 15 feet. Bump it up to 15 feet. Here we go. Let's just run down this path. I'm on full throttle. You can see the speed. 14, 15 miles an hour. Very stable. And as soon as I let off on the stick, let's back her up a little bit. Bring her down, which is counterclockwise. Bring her way down here. And bring her in. So let's level out here. Get off to the side a little bit. Whoa. Bring her forward. Uh, a little off to the side here. Okay, now I'm going to look down. <laughs> so, see if I can get it down so it, I can talk to the video. Here we go. Whoa, too low. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so, very impressive. Very stable. Plus or minus a couple feet during the run, but not bad at all. 
I really want to see if it can avoid things. Let's go down. We'll back her up a little bit. There's a little corridor of trees and grass. and Maybe we'll get a little lower and see if that will be a little more exciting. The rotation's pretty slow. All right, let's see if we can get her down a little longer. Here, so we got some trees here we can play with. We'll get her down about six feet, maybe seven feet. Low battery, return to home. Okay, we've got a low battery. We're going to return home and put a new battery in, and then we'll do this run. So this is flight two. You ran out of juice at about 12 minutes. It's cold out here. It's about 47 degrees, so I guess the batteries aren't going to last as long. We're going to get into a six-foot hover, and then we're going to run down this row of trees here, safe and out of everybody else's way. Normal mode it is. Take off. Positioning myself. All right, let's bring... Bring them over, a little forward, and we'll orient it a little bit the other way. There we go. And we'll run it right down this row of trees. We're at four feet. This should be interesting. It drops off a little bit, so it's going to be a little higher than that above the ground here shortly. Hopefully it's going to avoid everything. Okay, now it's staying level even though it's dropping off. And it's getting a little close to that tree, making me a little uncomfortable, so I'm just going to run it back down. It stays on heading remarkably well, which is always a good thing. A little too close to that tree. Can't see the bushes. Alright, so what's there's the home. Here's me. Let's just run it back and hopefully it's not gonna go right into this two feet off the deck. Yeah, I wanna raise it up. It's a little too huh low for me. There we go. Let's do it. Let's do ten. And it's a little close to that tree, so we're gonna reorient it here a little bit. It senses the trees and it's making it nervous. Let's see if we can. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. we don't want to fly in any trees. I don't want to lose this. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, so I'm going to laterally shift here. Okay, you can see once you see some trees, there we go. Now it says it's clear, but I want to point it in the right direction here. Whoop, I think I can clear that tree. And safely back through the orchard, <laughs> through the tree corridor. Now, and then we're just going to climb up. Get up to 150 feet, maybe. And then just do a little pirouette. 170. Uh, let's go. See you. Whoa! Oh boy. Now that's interesting. I got to bring it down because all of a sudden it went into this mode inadvertently. I don't know why. Let's see if I can swipe that away. Come on, give me a break, will you? No advertisements at this point. All right, so I'm going to hit the H button. Is that going to go fly? I'm going to bring it down even lower because if it craps out on me right now, I don't want to hurt the bird. Okay, so that's weird. Don't... <laughs> DJI, what are you thinking? Putting something up like that while somebody's flying? Are you crazy? Crikey sakes. So we'll bring it back up to 100 feet and just do a survey. 120, 130, 150, 160. All right, and then we're just going to do a survey of the area. I'll bring the camera down, which is counterclockwise, and then just rotate it around, and you can see.
I don't know what the area is. And I'm putting in about half stick now to slow down the, there's all the fields. Very interesting. All right, I'm up there pretty high. I'm gonna hit return home. I really like how it sets up the tube and just lets you do its thing. Very impressive. Not that I'm not comfortable flying their bird back, but so right now it's kind of orient, it's reoriented itself to its takeoff position. And you can see the silhouette, so I'm gonna have to bump it over a little bit. There we go, a little forward, a little back. All right, we're at six feet, it's transitioning. Doing it all by, not by the camera anymore, just doing it straight by visual. And right on the spot. All right, so there you go. Very interesting speed runs at different altitudes. So what did we learn today? About 14 minutes, 15 minutes on a battery when it's about 45 degrees outside. Precision on this is pretty good. I'm doing something a little different than anybody else probably is that's flying this thing. I'm putting it through a flight test program as if I've never seen this thing before. It dropped on my desk and for some reason I've got to figure this thing out. Today's flight was height and speed and I'm very impressed. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in all sorts of quadcopter evaluations, making and breaking things, designs of all kinds, I evaluate and design sports gear, photography equipment, I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. I just sort of did a whole bunch on the Ghostbusters. That was a lot of fun. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what flight testing you're going to see.